So the leading causes of fire uh, for San Mateo County are cooking, kids playing with fire, smoking, heating, uh, electrical, and candles. Uh, as far as cooking goes, I think a couple of the two th or a couple things to be reminded of is one is uh, not to leave your cooking unattended. Um, several of the fires I've been to have had have been people that have left cooking unattended to deal with children or other events or things going on. Forget about it, leaving the house, we get pots on the stove, uh, things like that. So, so keep an eye on what you're cooking, um, mind the heat, watch what's going on. Uh, the second thing is, is when you're cooking, keep an extinguisher nearby um, in the event that you can use that to mitigate the situation before we have to respond. As for kids uh, playing with fire, um, one thing is always supervise them. Don't let them have matches uh, and lighters and, and play with fire um, on their own. Uh, number two is uh, children that do have a tendency to do that. Um, if there has been an issue, we do have a juvenile fire setter program in this county that agencies will subscribe to, and it's a national standard set by FEMA um, that will help explain to kids, teach kids, um, and hopefully set them on the right path before there's a problem. As far as smoking goes, uh, if you are a smoker, uh, please be careful where you leave your cigarettes. Always dispose of them in an ashtray. Uh, make sure the fire's out or the cigarettes out before um, you uh, leave it. Uh, no smoking in bed. Um, when you're out, don't discard your uh, cigarette butts uh, out of your car, out in the dry grass areas. Uh, those lead to fires every year. As far as heating goes, your furnaces, your, your wall furnaces, your furnaces at home, um, anything you're using for a heating element. Uh, don't hang things on it, don't put towels in front of it to dry, don't clutter up around it. Uh, the heat will build and can cause those things to spontaneously combust. For electrical fires, uh, the, the best way to prevent those is to make sure everything's in good, proper working order. Don't overload circuits, don't daisy chain extension cords, which is when you're chaining one to the next. Um, same with the surge protectors. Surge, surge protectors are a great idea because they'll cut the circuit when there is a problem. Um, and uh, make sure that uh, none of your wires are frayed. They're not running underneath carpets, not running underneath furniture where things can get pinched and overheat and cause a fire. Um, and just uh, you know, mind that electricity can be dangerous. For candles, uh, make sure you don't leave candles unattended. Uh, make sure at the end of the night when you're done with them that they're extinguished um, and set away from somewhere that can cause uh, a fire or, or can ignite onto something. Keep them away from drapery, um, keep away from blinds, um, and, uh, and, and keep an eye on them. They can still be a very dangerous thing.